morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kagho coming at you with another video. So today, I'm going to be going over how to play Balanced Druid in Phase 3. Now, this changes a lot from Phase 2 to now because there are just so many things that you're going to have to be doing and to be aware of, and a few glyphs, talents, and your two-piece set change from Tier 9 to Tier 8 has a lot of intricacies. So we'll definitely be covering a lot of that later in the video but there's a lot to it and so i wanted to take the time to sort of show you guys how to play the class but before we get into the video be sure to like comment and subscribe everything you guys do helps my channel grow helps me get discovered and helps me help as many people as possible which is the entire point of my channel so without further ado let's get into the video so the first thing we're going to cover is your consumables it is super easy for balanced druid there's literally three of them you're gonna have your food buff which i prefer firecracker salmon you can get so many other uh, things and then we are going to um, drink a flask of the frost worm and then for your pre pots it's going to pretty much be potion of speed now once you are once you have your two piece and you are in tier nine uh, gear because um, of how it works and everything but anyway next we are going to show you a a little pre-pull here and sort of the rotation that we are going to do so we're going to get a dbm timer here so in a perfect world you're pre-casting wrath with a potion of speed to try to get your eclipse but we're going to go ahead and do that then you immediately want to do your trends because lust is popped early and they benefit from that and then you just cast wrath until you uh proc your lunar then you're going to star uh moonfire then you're going to the starfire pop all your cooldowns when you're in your first um Lunar Eclipse there, and pretty much you're just going to cast Starfire until it goes out. Once you proc your Solar, that is when we're going to apply Insect Swarm. Because of where we're at with gear, you're, you no longer proc um, your Wrath. Uh, you no longer keep Insect Swarm up. You want to always, always make sure Moonfire's up. So there we go. We proc our um, Solar, so now we're going to put Insect Swarm up, but you do not maintain it. The weaker I have still shows it there, but we can turn that off if we want to. But it's just very helpful for me to sort of see that. So then we just keep going through the rotation, always making sure the moon fires up. And then we're back here. And then I like to make sure I pop my pe second potion of speed in my eclipse. Obviously, you want to do this um, when your eclipse is at its peak. So when you have about 15 seconds of it, so you can get the full rotation. But that's pretty much it guys you just press starfire when it glows and keep pressing it till you get the solar eclipse and then again as i said you're gonna pop insect swarm wrath and then wrath spam and always make sure moon fires up because it is very very important to keep that dot up you can even moon fire at the beginning as well i said wait for the eclipse but it doesn't matter too much you will moon fire is super huge in this phase um, so that's it for your druid rotation. Next, we're going to take a look at our talents and glyphs. So this is also where it sort of changes. Because there's no trash that you're really fighting um, in TOGC, you can actually go into brambles over um, gale winds because this increases your hurricane typhoon, but you're not really using those in TOGC because there's no trash. I think when ICC comes, you'll pivot back into it, but that's one of the biggest changes that you sort of see, as well as you have enough crit now that your mana isn't really going to be too much of an issue. Um, and so you don't even have to go into clear casting anymore and omen of clarity. So we have uh, that's another big change, but this is the entire spec that I am running. Then we take a look at our glyphs. So the biggest one that you're going to be swapping is Glyph of Moonfire from to Glyph of Insect Swarm. You could have used Glyph of Moonfire in Nax, but the moment you got to Wolduar, you really wanted that Glyph of Insect Swarm. So that's kind of a big change, and that's why we don't use Insect Swarm as much as we did. We now sort of use that... Um, as freely as possible with uh the, just when you get your solar eclipses is when you're putting up insect swarm now finally we're going to be talking about our macros um so this character is actually one i use for a lot of my videos so he's still a miner and herb so my professions are kind of off in a perfect world you'd want to be tailoring and engineering for the cloak and the gloves which we'll get into the macros that i use but pretty much my macros are pretty 
uh, simple for this. It's just Starfall and my Living Flame trinket. If I was uh, an engineer, I would also have one for Wrath and Starfire. That would be slash use 10 to make sure I'm using my engineering gloves. But since this character isn't an engineer, we do not have those. But just sort of important so you guys understand that um, with macros and such. I found it helped so, so much on my demo lock. So I'm sure it will help you guys a ton on uh, Druids if you're really trying to min-max and you are an engineer on that character and then finally i want to talk about your gear choices and sort of your um stat prios and how everything works because it can be rather confusing when we uh like when you're coming in like what stats to get because druid is very dependent on a lot of soft caps and so what that means is just the cap that it is at for most of the time when something's proc something's being used it's not like the maximum cap so the first thing that you're going to want to have is your hit rating. You're going to want to have this at 10% because of your Druid talents and your Fairy Fire gives you the highest um, hit rating possible. Um, that is going to be at about 263. I'm over hit because I'm using a Living Flame right now. There's really nothing I can do about that. Just a side effect of not getting a Flare right now. Um, just really kind of sucks. But, you know, it's a trinket, so we're using it. Um, and if you are Alliance, this number goes down to 237 because of heroic presence from those Draenei. So something to keep in mind there. The next is going to be spell power. Obviously, you want as much spell power as possible. It's your main core set. And then when we talk about secondary stats, we have haste, crit, spirit, and that is the stat prio for all of these um, and so the hate soft cap for your haste is going to be um, 585. Uh, I'm over that haste cap. So as you can see, every piece of gear that I have has a uh, crit spell power gem in it because I have hit that haste cap. And the haste cap is at this value because wrath will be reduced to a one second global cooldown when talented into nature's grace. So you're going to be um, doing that. And if you have access to wrath of air totem from a shaman, you'll only need 401 for haste cap. So it's just really, really interesting to look at that. But even going over it, it helps you a ton for star fires in your uh, lunar eclipse. So there is some merit to having more, but try to keep it at 585 or 401 at the best as possible. Like I said, there, you, as is Boom again, because all the pieces are really contested, you're just going to be handed these five, uh, these 258 pieces um, that are going to be these leather pieces. They're not great, but you're going to get them, and they're probably better than what you have from Old War and whatnot. So you'll still are going to want to use them. And then that brings us to crit and spirit. Uh, crit is just what you get as much as possible. Your crit chance is going, like, if you get to 45%, you're crit capped for your uh, soft cap because during your eclipse, you will have a 100% chance to crit with it. But, you know, that is a very hard number to attain. As you can see, fully socketed crit, I'm only at 28%. And then finally, spirit. Um, because of improved Moonkin form here in our talent tree, you, um, you get 30% of your spirit into spell damage. All these 258... Um, heroic spirit pieces they have spirit on the or heroic leather pieces have spirit on them so you like I said you're just going to get a ton of them um, and so that's just extra spell power like I said not ideal but you know if you're the boomkin you're gonna be handed that because all the other caster gears cloth and your warlocks and mages will probably have priority over you on them um, but that is it for your uh, sort of gearing and stat prowls and stuff and then finally, I, the weak auras I use, I just sort of use that cooldown tracking weak aura that I have used for most of my characters, as well as I have classic buff missing. This helps me um, see when people need mark, and if people are marked with main tank, it'll also tell me to put thorns on them if you have some uh, really swat tryhard tanks trying to parse in those. Um, I do a GDKP with Alondo, and he was... Um, PMs me to make sure I put thorns on him. He'll even ask if I'll pop Living Flame to do it, which I find is pretty funny. But, you know, to each their own. Everyone loves to play the game. 
uh, to a different degree, but it's this Dread procs and buffs. I will have a link to that in the paste the, to a paste bin so you guys can copy and sort of use this Dread proc buff weak aura. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope this helps you a ton. And if you have any questions, anything, you can join my Discord and DM me. If we have a shared Discord, you can DM me at Kago on Discord. I will answer all those questions. You can do it in the comment section below, whatever. I'm very available and just want to do my best to help you guys and answer any questions that I can. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.